Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Jonathan White. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching this show live or at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform their present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic reiki, guided meditation, angel oracle cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny and a journey through lifetimes. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guest, like today's guest, Jonathan White, about how you can consciously harness the power of sexual energy, not just to improve menstrual cycles and balancing hormones, but also clearing sexual trauma and negative emotions. Now, Jonathan White is an instructor of Taoist sexual arts, Qigong and meditation. His programs have helped thousands of men and women from around the world to harness their sexual energy to empower all areas of their life. With testimonials such as, since I began these practices and changed consciousness about sexuality, I am on a big healing path, liberating a lot of shame and experiencing more joy in my relationship with myself. My menstruation is much gentler and I have much less pain in premenstruation and less strong bleeding. And it brought up to my attention a conscious choice of having this reflected in my relationship as well. Once I opened up my channels and allowed love to pour through me, there was no going back to an old habitual way, even if it felt like it for periods of time. I attracted a partner, also cultivating sexual energy, and so we were able to generate a lot more energy together than on our own. So without further delay, hello, Jonathan, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Hi, Ray. Doing great. Thank you for having me today. Uh, you're welcome. So before we get into this conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions and leave comments as both Jonathan and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please do not be shy. So Jonathan, why don't you tell us more about yourself and how sex and sexuality and sex and spirituality can work with each other to help us? Yeah, so I got into this work uh, several years ago, I was going through, you know, my spiritual awakening, I was studying yoga and meditation, kind of going through a deep healing in my own life. And for me, kind of uh, a missing aspect was where does sexuality fit into all this? Because, you know, as a, as a man growing up in this world, I learned about sex through pornography, as, as many of us do. So I had a lot of very, I could say, distorted uh, patterns in my expression of sexuality. And I was realizing this was a problem for me. So uh, I ended up finding the work of Montauk Chia, who's a who's a Taoist master and teaches you know these these Chinese practices of internal energy cultivation, and uh, it, it really opened up my eyes to a whole new experience of sex. And uh, you know because especially as men, we tend to be very focused on uh, forcing our way into a, a, a short lived orgasm, yeah. and then it's all over. And and sometimes the partner, the woman, doesn't have time to enjoy it as well, right? So. Uh, this practice really emphasizes being able to lengthen the sexual act and use the sexual energy to nourish your body to heal yourself because sexual energy is very, very powerful and it can be used to heal or destroy. So um, studying these practices really completely changed my life. It opened me up to greater abundance, more happiness, more joy, and more balance in my relationships. <clears throat> and so I, I really became passionate about sharing this with people because I saw uh, how much it transformed my uh, my life personally. And uh, I think this is some of the most important work people can do, especially if you're on the spiritual path. So uh, that's kind of how I got to where I am today and and uh, what my mission is to just really empower people to harness their sexual energy in a harmonious way. Oh, wow. So so what sort of like... Um... You, you know, you saying you're going through some some own issue, you know, some some issues and that. What what kind of like sort of issues were they that that got you started on 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 this? Well, I was uh, <clears throat> running into issues in my relationships. You know, I, I kept on uh, basically repeating repeating the same patterns in my relationships, especially sexually. You know, and uh, for, for me, for example, something a lot of men struggle with is premature ejaculation and uh, a feeling of depletion after 
having an orgasm because for a man, an ejaculation actually depletes their life force. A lot of ancient traditions talk about this. So the Taoist practices, uh, basically men learn to have non-ejaculatory orgasms. So they, they are harnessing that energy. Therefore, a man's able to last much longer during sex, bring his partner to greater levels of pleasure. And uh, so these are some of the things I was able to shift is again, my uh, experience of sex instead of being something that drains me. You know, porn addiction was a, a problem I was struggling with. This is something very common in the world. So that that's something I was able to overcome as well by, uh, uh, again, changing my relationship to what sex was for me and how to experience it differently. Okay, cool. So, I mean, what's the difference between um, women's orgasms and men's orgasms in that? I mean, I mean, can women do do the, do the same, you know, orgasm with, without um, releasing any um uh, uh, wetness or, or anything like that. So the, the energetic dynamic for women and men in their orgasms are quite different again, uh, because a man, typically men associate, uh, their orgasm with the ejaculation. Of course, the ejaculation being the release of a fluid, but men can actually have different types of orgasms, non-ejaculatory orgasms. So it's that loss of the vital fluid, the semen, which depletes the man's energy. But fortunately for women, they don't naturally have that energy loss through orgasm. You know, women, uh, their orgasms tend to be more internal and w women are typically naturally multi-orgasmic. So they don't really have to worry about losing their energy through orgasm. It's, it's the menstruation cycle that is what's depleting women's sexual energy. If it's excessive menstruation, because for women, the, the menstrual cycle is, it's kind of a psychic cleansing, you know, yeah. uh, women who have a lot of trauma, you know, they're going through a lot of stress. They tend to store this in their womb space. And so, uh, the having a heavy menstrual cycle just means the body's using a lot of its own energy, its own genes what the Chinese call, uh, the physical vital essence, the fluids of the body, they're using their own blood, their gene to, to remove these psychic toxins from their body. So, uh, for women having a practice to, uh, basically clear yourself energetically, uh, be able to to gain a conscious connection with that womb space is going to help uh, kind of mitigate and lessen the intensity of the menstrual cycle. Oh, wow, that, that's amazing because because we don't tend to think of that in Western society, really, do we? It's like, okay, oh, yeah. time of the month, you know, it's like, oh my <laughs> God, it's heavy this month or it's lighter, lighter this month. And, and sometimes, obviously, um, women that have really heavy cycles, you know, um, we'll, we'll go down the surgical route or the, or the you know, or the medical route, whereas it sounds like they don't really have to. Yeah, again, it's, it's everything is related, you know, our mind, our bodies, our emotions, our physical bodies, you know, disease or disease and, and physical pain is often manifest from negative emotions, you know, traumas and things like that. So again, having a more holistic way of, of dealing with repressed emotions, you know, traumas from the past is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to go to lessen, for example, lessen the intensity of the menstrual cycle, overall improving your health and your vitality as well. So, so how, how do you kind of like get, get, get to that? You know, is it a case of, okay, you, th you think about it or is there some physical things you need to do? So I, th I, think I, I believe it's good to have some sort of daily practice and what that may be for you may be different. You know, I think meditation is great. Uh, doing shadow work, you know, having, having, basically having an ability for these, uh, when you're holding something, you know, a blockage in your body, it's often a, an emotion or a trauma that hasn't really been processed. Right. So having some sort of way to process these things instead of holding on to them is going to be helpful. Um, yoga is great. I practice Qigong, which is, uh, it's, it's basically a Chinese yogic system, moving energy through the body. And, uh, these, are, these are some of the practices I teach as well. And I found them very effective for clearing out the body. Basically, you want to you know get your energy flowing, open up your energy channels, clear out the old stagnant energy, bring in the fresh chi, and that's what will really help you to uh, not get stuck in these in these patterns. Oh, wow. Um, so, I mean, is it um, kind of like um, so 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 how does that connect with um our sexuality you know because you kind of like think with meditation you you know you go into that nice relax, relax space so how does that time with sexuality it, it ties in very well actually because uh for most people our experience of sex is very unconscious we kind of get into these patterns we usually develop these in our in our teenage years when we're first exploring sexuality and, uh, you know, for women, there's often a lot of shame. There's a lot of guilt and trauma around sexuality, you know, and, uh, for men as well, there's often this, this feeling of, of needing to be a performer, you know, act like a porn star in the bedroom, whatever. So we often have all these fixed concepts about how sex should be. And 
Uh, sometimes it's hard for us to actually get into our bodies and enjoy what, you know, really get deep into the experience, you know, uh, and especially being able to make it a full body orgasmic experience, you know, opening all the chakras, getting your, your spiritual bodies involved as well. So that's, to me, that's where meditation fits in is you learn to really calm the mind, just to, to center your mind within your body and opening up the energy channels of the body so that you have more space to hold orgasmic energy, basically. And this is one of the ways men become, uh, able to have non-ejaculatory orgasms is they're able to channel the energy upwards instead of losing it outwards and women benefit from this as well because they can draw that sexual energy throughout the body so it, it's it really makes the experience of sex more internal uh connecting deeper with your partner deeper with yourself and getting into a very uh deep state of openness to receive openness to exchange you know instead of just just trying to like kind of thrust your way away into a, a short-lived orgasm it's more making it a, a very deep experience basically Okay, so so I mean, is it is it like tantric sex, like tantra? Definitely, definitely. Uh, I've studied tantric systems as well, and uh, the Taoist se sexual practices are very, very similar to them as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, be because because obviously tantra, you you hear a lot of, but the Taoists have never heard of of of, of that at all. It's you know, is it something that's um, popular or as well known or is it just one of those things that isn't as well known as it should be it's becoming more popular it's a bit behind you know uh the the indian traditions you know the yoga tradition started spreading to the west back in like the 60s so uh it was a bit you know further developed here in the western world and so the chinese arts are they were a bit behind basically but they're now becoming more popular you know the the Taoist practices qigong tai chi these are becoming uh, more popular here in the west as well so i think it's just it's just a bit behind but it will gain popularity yeah it because it, it sounds so much um, better to have kind of like an organic view um of sexuality and um our own and own experiences and that to to sort of like help with relationships um so so much so I'm, I'm guessing that it makes relationships a lot more even rather than one person having more control than the other person it, it's kind of like working together as an equal exactly it's like uh you know a lot of a lot of our relationships you know again we approach them quite unconsciously and it's it's often because we have some sort of emptiness within ourselves and we're trying to fill that with someone else and so when that person no longer fulfills us we feel angry or frustrated at them and we maybe throw them aside and move on with someone else but the you know the more holistic the more uh kind of conscious relationship is about uh you're doing your own inner work you know you're you're working with your shadows working with your uh traumas your negative emotions that you have you're, you're processing these within yourself maybe through a daily practice you're meditating you're you're doing reiki meditation um whatever uh so you're you're filling yourself up with universal energy from within because you're tapped into that instead of projecting you know your negative aspects on someone else you're dealing with this within yourself so when you enter into a relationship it's out of a place of wholeness it's like i have all this energy i'm overflowing and let's let's share this instead of like oh i need something from you i need to take something from you so it's just a a, a much different dynamic that i think has a lot more uh overall enjoyment fulfillment and uh longevity to it as well yeah. Cool. And um, and your your partner, um, she's in, she's involved in the work you do as well, I believe. She is. Yes. Yes. She. Uh, we made a course together for women, so she she helps teach the women's practices. That's that's that's, pr that's pretty cool that you're actually using something that uh, you you both are um, you both practice, but you're able to share it with with other people um, as 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 well um, as they as they go on on their on their journey. So. You know, we've we've kind of like got ourselves nice and relaxed. We've opened up our we've opened up our our chakras. So is it just by doing that that allows us to um, fall in love with ourselves, to open up our sexual energy, or is there more to it? Basically, but it's not always as simple as that, right? Uh, when we when we have patterns that have been ingrained into our system for decades, you know, years and years, it's usually not an overnight process. So. You know, maybe one day you feel a bit more open, but it's it's often, uh, you know, it, it takes time to really shift into this deeper state of of experience, this deeper state of connection with yourself and your partner. So it really is a process, and you know, it requires consistent work. I would say, where you're you're regularly working with it, making sure you're on the path. You know. 
Yeah, I mean it's it's so fascinating. So so apart from the um, the Taoists and the Qi Gong, you know, as there are other spiritual practices that that you do, you know, have have you always been into spirituality, or was that something that just came along? Yeah, it's uh, I've been you know about twelve years ago I had kind of a spiritual awakening experience and uh, it got me very very interested in these ancient traditions. It's like how do I you know how do I stay in this connection with higher consciousness, connection with the universe? So again, I explored many different paths. I explored yogic systems, you know, the Indian yoga systems, meditation, uh, different shamanic traditions, uh, um, and Native American traditions and the Tao, the Taoist practices as well. And so what I'm teaching is a bit of a, it's a, it's a bit of a mix between everything I've learned. Um, I do stress a bit more of the Taoist practices because they're very grounded. They're very body centered and, uh, People just seem to really do well with them, but I, I mix a bit of a lot of different systems together in what I teach. Yeah, because because I'm guessing it is really sort of like grounding the energy in rather than sort of like just being high up there all the time. You you need you need you need to ground it in really. Yeah, it's 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 like it's not what you eat; it's what you're able to digest. So when you're you know lifting all this energy up, expanding out your crown, it's great, it's blissful, but sometimes it kind of burns you out. You know, you get really wired, you get kind of jittery, and you're not able to hold a strong charge in your body. So connecting with the earth, you know, grounding, getting in your body, you're able to embody this energy. Especially sexual energy is very very powerful. You know, uh, so you need to be grounded to be able to contain this energy because it has this this property of amplifying things. You know, it's like the, the sperm and the egg unite and they grow, they uh, multiply trillions of times, become a human body. That's the power you're working with, with sexual energy. And so that's what this work is all about, is directing that energy into other things, not just a physical expression of sex, but you're redirecting that energy into your relationships, maybe directing into your business, expanding that, directing that into your spiritual path, you know? So you're, you're drawing this, this raw sexual energy up in the body. Uh, to, to the crown center, to the other areas of the body, to the heart, raising the frequency of the energy and, and changing its expression. So it's really a, a transmutation of, of the sexual energy into a greater experience. And that uh, enhances your own evolution and spiritual awakening. Wow. So you, it, it kind of makes you think, you know, uh, you know, are there, you know, are there business leaders out there that kind of like use this to, you know, to, to get ahead in business and make money and, and, and things like that, you know, you kind of think, have they, have they, you know, have they been looking at this kind of thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's like people like Napoleon Hill. He talked about sexual transmutation in the early 1900s. So I, I think a lot of successful people are doing this, you know, on one one level or another. Wow. It's, it's, that's absolutely amazing. So how do you, how do you normally work with 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 people? Um, do you do it in person? Do you do it online? How, how do you how how does it work? The main offering I have is online courses. So I have a six-week course for men. It's called Multi-Orgasmic Man. And I have a four-week course for women, which my partner Mariah and I made. It's called uh, Multi-Orgasmic Goddess. So that's the main offering. Uh, beyond that, I also do uh, I do one-on-one -on -one work as well, usually taking my courses as a prerequisite. And uh, I do some retreats and things like that as well. Uh, obviously, not a lot of that right now. But once things open up more in the world, I'll be doing more in-person retreats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once once things open up next year, it's, it's, yeah. all, it's, all, it's all gonna happen. It's all gonna happen next oh, yeah. year. We're gonna suddenly all be going, Oh my god, we're so busy, there's so much going on, we want mm -hmm. we wanna do we wanna do do everything. So so <laughs> what sort of things on the courses do people have to do? Um what do they do exercises, do they just do meditation, um qigong moves? So it's it's uh you know, I'm very practical, I'm very, very much about having, you know not just the theory, because we can talk about this stuff all day, but it's like one of my teacher says, talk does not cook the rice. You need a practice to feel it, to move it in your body, right? So I share, you know, the theory of everything, but it's a lot of practices. So uh, meditation practices, uh, breath work, yogic practices, qigong, so moving the energy in your body. And kind of the structure is, uh, to the four-week course and the six-week course, is first you start with clearing, clearing the energy body, a practice to clear out negative emotions uh, and, uh, because it's like before you plant the garden, you need to take out the weeds. So if you want to create new patterns, you have to let go of the old ones. So that's what I start with is clearing. And then we, we start to work with the energy channels of the body, uh, opening the, because these become the pathways for your sexual energy to move through. So first you need to get them open and clear, you know, cultivating your, your own regular energy, then, then working with the sexual energy, start to move that through the body and uh, go on to the sexual practices as well. And we also teach 
practices for women to balance their hormones. You know, breast massage is a very powerful practice for women to uh, uh, improve their hormone levels okay. and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, be, yeah, because hormones play a really, really big part of, uh, uh, for, for for women. So, um, so, so they've they've you know they're they're kind of like um, their hormones. Um, they're opening up their energy, um, you know, and, and obviously um, we had a couple of testimonials from a couple of uh, of women that you know that, that have gone through this and 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 the benefits then so apart from those benefits i missed um, i mentioned earlier what what other benefits are there many many benefits so uh it, it improves your vitality you know we live in a very there's a lot of forces working against our health and our well-being in this world right we're, we're stimulated from all these external forces and anything that helps you to you know hold your center to get into your body to get clear and uh, aligned and you're you know you know aligned to the heaven connect with the earth and that's really what these practices do is when you're cultivating your energy you're developing this direct connection with the life force and that increases your health your energy your focus your your motivation your feeling of your sense of purpose in life and it's it just really is holistic on all levels you know a lot of people come to this work especially the men they're very drawn to just like oh i just want to have you know non ejaculatory orgasms but there's a lot of foundational work to do first and then they discover this whole world of wow i'm i'm learning to meditate i'm learning to uh you know connect with the energy of nature so it, it completely transforms them and and uh, it's just it's very very powerful work it you know you create more abundance in your life because your sexual energy is really what you use to create with and when you have this harmonious connection with your sexual energy you become very magnetic and you're able to really draw in the things that you want in your life and it can really amplify your spiritual path as well because a lot of people you know it's it's difficult to really progress on the spiritual path if you have these you know underlying sexual kind of uh disharmonious expression of sexuality we could say that's something that tends to hold you back so when you're able to integrate that sexual energy with your spiritual path in a harmonious way it just really really supercharges everything wow and makes your relationships with everyone else that you in interact with um, a lot smoother i'm guessing because you're not kind of like competing for energy exactly you're again you're overflowing you're just you're just radiating life force around you oh wow that's absolutely amazing um so th thank you for thank you for, sh for, for sharing that so as you know um i do guided meditations and angel oracle cards and each week i like to ask my guests what they would like me to do for themselves and the viewers watching. So Jonathan, would you like me to do um, pull an angel oracle card or to do a mini guided meditation? You get to choose. Uh, let's do an angel or oracle card. Why not? Funny enough, I've got it in my hand. <laughs> so um, as, as always, although I work um, I with I work with the every, everything I do is for the present. So when I do the card readings, it's for what we need to know for um, our highest good at this moment in time. So although I work with the past, we clear the past so that we can be fully present. And although I work with the future, we work with the future so that we're not worried about the future, so we can be fully back in the present. So it's everything is really for what we need to know um, in the present, which I'm guessing with your work, again, is exactly the same thing. It's being here in the present, in the here and now. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so we'll give the cards a quick cleanse and bless. So what does Jonathan and everyone who's watching this show need to know for their highest good moment in time? Whoa. Okay. We actually had two cards that decided they were going to uh, jump out, which actually tie really nicely with what with what around with what we've been talking um, about, and also on where you're going on on your journey. So we've got discussing truth. You stand in the light of truth, and vast vistas expand your horizons. Mm, awesome. <laughs> so, 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 absolutely, um, perfect. Um, and and basically, what it is, you know, it, it ties in with everything we've been talking about. But it's also saying, um, you know, that um, by standing in the light of your truth of of uh, um, of your expression. It's, it's allowing you to actually expand your horizons um, and for new opportunities to come in. Um, so pretty cool, pretty cool cards um, that have come out. And it's not just for Jonathan, but it is for everyone watching as well. 
you know, when you stand in your light of truth, you really do expand your horizons um, outwards. So I think they're absolutely brilliant cards um, to come out and both have got pathways um, on them as well to go that way. So, mm. you know, so, so the path is, is, is moving, moving along. So they're absolutely brilliant cards. I'm, I'm really glad those ones actually jumped out on us. So, <laughs> yeah. So Jonathan, do you have any insights or thoughts to leave our viewers? Well, um, just that this, uh, you know, sexual energy, it, it's, it's something you can always connect to 24 seven. And when you're able to redirect it in a harmonious expression, it's going to change who you are. It's going to attract more of what you want in your life. And, uh, you can really use it to supercharge your spiritual path. I think that's what the world really needs right now. There's so much conflict. There's so much, you know, negativity and, uh, it's time to focus on the positive focus on becoming the version of yourself you want to do. And this is a great avenue of work to do that with, I would say. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It, it sounds like it's it's well, it does to me. It sounds absolutely a brilliant way of of, of working and connecting to your your spirituality and actually move, moving things things forward. So, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this and found it insightful. And the words of wisdom John Jonathan has given you will help you further on your journey. So, Jonathan, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Uh, you can find me on social media, uh, Instagram and YouTube. My uh, Sexual Kung Fu is, is the name I go by. Um, my Instagram, uh, YouTube's a bit more geared towards men. So women watching this, you know, check out my Instagram. You'll find some, you know, some cool stuff there. Uh, my website is jonathanwhitelifestyle.com. You can check out my courses and the offerings that I have and my partner Mariah has. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, and I'll actually put those links um, in, in the comments after the show. So you can actually just click on them. And of course, if women, you know, those women watching, you know, you've got partners point them to the you know point them to uh, the youtube channel and uh, you, you know and and actually open up spiritually for both you and your partner um at, at the same time um, oh, yeah. so, so that, that would make up that would make absolute sense so um everyone i hope you've really enjoyed this and if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path then i'd love to be that guide for you please reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call where i pull an uh, angel card for you and we can talk about how I can help you um, on your journey and whether we're a right fit for each other. And of course, the Angel Wings membership community is now open and this is where you get a chance to work with Ascended Masters, galactic beings, gods, goddesses, um, angels, uh, oracle cards, and also a community um, to help you spread your wings and soar. And of course, if you want to sign up to my weekly newsletter, you get a um, free guided relaxation meditation to help you um, to distress in your life. And also there's a couple of other free gifts as well. So thank you everyone for watching. And thank you, Johnny, so much for being on the show. It's been a pleasure having you on here. Um, and I would like to invite everyone to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you and get their partners on board with their destiny as well. And if you are watching this on YouTube, then please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when this show goes out live. And I look forward to you all joining me same time, same place next week. So thank you, Jonathan, and we'll see everybody next week. Bye. Thank you, Ray. Bye.